Hey guys, and welcome back to another Random Distractions where we're playing Co-Opt. And we found a note by this tree. And now we got to find another one. And it mentioned that uh, the places where I find the notes are labeled on the tree or on the map. Hmm. What's interesting is I thought that this was my my uh, character, but obviously not, because I'm over here. So I guess there's not a way to know. So it looks like we got to travel west, and right now I'm facing north. Okay, so there's north. So I need to go this way. There might be a cave or here or something. Another way to jump uh, that I can figure out here. Okay. Uh oh, what's this? Okay, not good. And I'm dead. Okay. Well, that's not good. Unlock the camps to use the fast travel. Oh, okay, well, that'll be good. Mm, all right, uh, let's see, looks like there's something over here actually. 39 north, 96 east. Oh no. Ooh, run for it. Nope, oh, ran into that. Not good. Oh shoot. like there's a there was a fire or something that happened here hey, where am I at 39 has to be that those like piney things over here I think. So if we keep going west to go look at something that's in here or not. Like there should be a trail out of this. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm like 
maybe around here somewhere. So if I take this route, maybe. Oh wait, there's something up here. I was waiting for them to talk. Uh, so, let's see. Mysterious lights above the Svabodny Cosmodrome. Mysterious events in the sky were noted during the night of 4th to 5th, 5th of July. Witnesses testified they had seen a bright orange sphere which had crossed the sky above the city several times, moving chaotically and immediately changing its direction of flight. Finally, it stopped and disappeared. Major Gierka, an aviation professional, confirms it is impossible for any flying object we know to move like that. The military and Cosmodrome's personnel answered our questions in a short and firm way by distancing themselves to the event, informing there was no activity in that area as well as there were no tests performed. Okay. Is that an actual note? Yep, it looks like it's right there. So, yeah, if I go south, which... Let me get my compass out. Yep, this looks like this is south. I should make it down this route here. To 62... 47 east... Is right there, 47 east. It's approximately about here. Okay. And so yeah, so I noticed that the some of them were crossed out now, so I guess that means that we have to try to make it to those locations. take me there, which apparently there's nothing that far south. I need to try to make myself go west as much as possible, which would be in this direction. 69 north, 71 east. 69 north, 71 east. if that's telling me where I'm at right now. Okay. Bad thing is there's not a way out this way. There's some sort of bridge or something. 62, 66. Actually, 62, 66, 72 is not that far from me.
sound sounds like a note. We are sitting in room number 23. Although sitting might not be the right word because we are running around trying to finish up packing anything else we could need. Uh, food cans, tools, essentially whatever we get our hands on. We want to be sure that we took everything we could possibly need. We're running out of time. Damn it, where did I put my belt? I'm sure we forgot about something. We're almost ready. We lost the knife. We're counting the money. We're leaving the room in a complete mess. So, we made it to the train station. We're singing all the songs we know and making up new ones as well. Everyone is so excited. Finally, at around 3 a.m., we go to bed. I wonder, what is awaiting us when we get there? What will we see? How far will we make it? I hear the rest of the group breathing peacefully and it's snowing outside. I wonder if this is the one of the persons. The mirror did it get darker? Okay. So let me see where did I find this note? Seven seventy one. It's not one that I was expecting to find. Well, if I keep going south, I should be able to find that one. something there. Oh great, how do I get up there? jump but I don't know let me take a look at the controls here options controls look key bindings move forward move backwards strafe strafe use crouch run zoom map compass flashlight journal okay well <laughs> there's not a way to jump so oh no Come on. Ah, come on. Ooh, got away from him. All right. I need to find that note. They're not going to talk on this one. Severusk is closed city in Tomsk Oblast, Russia, located 15 kilometers, 9.3 miles northwest of Tomsk on the right bank of the Tom River and is in the hands of Rosatom, the Federal Atomic Energy Agency founded in 1949. It was known as Payati Poshtovi. Uh, town status was granted to it in 1956. It comprises several nuclear reactors and chemical plants uh, for separation, enrichment, and reprocessing of uranium and plutonium. The headquarters of the Russian Research Unit for Natural Phenomenon... Oh, shoot. I hear him. Where is he? Okay. Oh, I got 
gotta find a way up to that cabin. Come on. Okay, a guard's confession. 72-year-old Anna N., after years of silence, decided to talk about events from her past. She told us, I am terminally ill and have nothing to lose. I want people to know what harm had been done and all of this in the name of science. Anna N. described the place, a science research center where scientists allegedly conducted human experiments on prisoners. There was a special chamber they had never allowed us to even get close. It was guarded by soldiers. Although I did see people that were taken there, not many came back. I kept in touch with one of them. I asked what they had been doing there and why so few come back out of there alive. He looked at me terrified. He said, Anna, have you ever seen nothingness, a deep emptiness with no end? I was there. I stood above the collapsed valley of the universe on the borders, on the border between reality and unreality. There's an abyss there, a gigantic well in, with no bottom, a dark cave of hell, and I felt it. It was drilling in my head like ticking clock. He looked at me from below. It was sneaking up on me and slowly started entering me, the darkness. Sometime later, the same prisoner gave me a letter to pass on in which he had begged for help. I was supposed to give it to the press and expose the whole thing, but the letter disappeared. Up until now, I don't know what happened to it. Anyway, they would probably cover up the whole thing. We asked the supervisors of the prison unit to which Anna N. was subject to for a comment. Vladimir Kronsky, the unit's commander, strongly denied such events took place. He also informed us in a short message that Anna N. was a guard but never uh, worked in the mentioned above center because of an object because an object like that simply does not exist. He sent Anna N.'s employee record as proof that in years 1940-1950 she worked in Suchanauka Prison, also known as Special Object Number 110. She had been let go from this facility due to mental illness. A copy of her health record and medical certificate were attached. Huh. And I just realized that I could zoom in on this, too, so that's good. Okay. All right. But now, I still got to find... So, I think... Where was it? There's a bridge. Okay. So, if that's the bridge, then I'm probably right about here. I wonder if there's a way to get up from here. to go up at least all right well i'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here um uh, thanks again for joining me uh those things are always kind of ganging up on you and the the noises that they make are just like ooh. all right but i uh, would definitely appreciate a like on the video of course and make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell um so you'll see me if i can try to run them again or if i end up getting killed so uh until next time, I hope you have a good one.